All right, welcome back, guys. Um, doing another video here. I recently picked up a can expansion module for my notch back here. Um, over the season, being a turbo car, I've uh, used up all my IOs. Um, I really don't want to spend the money to get a Dominator at the moment, so uh, giving this uh, Swap Smart a try. Um, one thing I ran into while trying to set it up is that you need to have the version 2.0 firmware on your Terminator setup. Um, so I had to kind of pause on that installation and I'm going to work through uh, updating my ECU, my 3.5 inch dash, and my 7 inch screen. I will pretense this with make sure you have backup files of your old tunes, your configurations, and everything else. Because God forbid if something bad happens or you got to revert it back, uh, you have those files. Save everybody some time. Um, I had to disconnect my 7-inch dash uh, because we were told that the CAN network can't have anything else on it. Um, so I moved my 3.5-inch screen, which is plugged in directly to my actual uh, main harness. Um, I'm going to key on, just make sure everything's kosher before we move forward. So obviously everything's booted up here. Um, you can actually check your uh, current firmware uh, by following the following menus. You're going to go home file hardware firmware local info all right so you can see here firmware 1.8.2 um, i need to update this to uh, version 2.0 in order to get this can expansion module to work all right so keys off here um, whether you know or don't know there's actually a sd card on the side of your uh, three and a half inch dash so we're going to use that in order to update the firmware on both the ecu and on the uh, display we're going to hop on the computer and download the files and then we'll walk you through it all right so in order to get the update files you got to go to holly's website um, this is the kit that i have um, what you got to do is you go to support on the top right part of the page you're going to go down to fuel injection once you click that, then you're going to see all the different Holly stuff. Uh, for this particular video, we're going to update the ECU and the three and a half inch dash. So we're going to click this on the right. Uh, so once you go into here, you're going to get to the technical support page. Um, this is where you're going to find your update files. So currently I have V1, uh, which is an older firmware. Uh, in order to run this CAN expansion module, I need to go to V2. Uh, so I will be updating my uh, laptop software my ECU firmware, my three and a half inch firmware, and last, my seven inch dash firmware. Um, if something is not uh, at the same firmware as the others, you'll get warning messages on the screens, and then I think there'll get uh, some sort of issues as far as the software uh, is concerned. All right, so first we're gonna do the uh, firmware of the ECU and of the three and a half inch dash. So you're gonna see this Terminator X V2 SD card contents. You're going to click that and give it a download here. All right, so you're going to get a zip file, as you see on the bottom here. We're going to open that up. It's uh, got to be extracted, so we're going to right-click, extract all. Obviously, extract to here. It's going to have a bunch of files, so this is going to take a minute here. So now that it's done extracting, you're going to have, obviously, your zip folder and then your regular folder. Uh, when you go into here, you're going to see this high-level uh, number uh, folder. You're going to click that and then once you get in there you're going to have these three separate files so this is going to be all the stuff that you're going to need to put on your sd card uh, so here's the sd card that i took out of my car uh, we're going to put it into our laptop here a folder should pop up here all right so if you notice there's three files in here as well obviously the sd card contents are going to be the older version so you can see here's what was currently on my um, sd card and here's what we just downloaded off of Holly's website. So for me, I have all my tunes saved on my laptop. Uh, depending on how you do it, uh, you may want to save your files that you have. So if you see this folder called Holly, if you double click it, it's gonna be a folder here. Under Save GCF, that's gonna have your original start and then your global config file that uh, you started your engine initially with. Uh, so we're gonna just, for safety, we're gonna select these two and we're gonna save them to our desktop. So we're just going to highlight these here, hit copy, go to desktop, and paste them. All right, so once you got that done, the next thing you got to do is delete everything off of your SD card. Uh, to make things easier, I'm going to split screen this here. We have our SD card on the right, um, and then we have our downloaded file on the left. 
So when you go into your SD, obviously we have those three files again. Uh, we are going to delete everything. So right here, you want to permanently delete? Yes. So it's going to take a second here and wipe out the card. All right, so now you can see that the SD card contents are, are empty. So on the left here is those three files that we just downloaded off of Holly's website. You're going to click them and drag them over. All right, so that took a, a little bit of time there, but obviously it completed. So now you can see that the left side and the right side match. So we have the Fresh V2 software um, that we downloaded off of Holly's website. And then on the right, we have uh, the contents of the SD card. Uh, so now we should be good to um, put this on our uh, screen and do the update. So obviously safely eject your SD card, and then uh, we'll go back over to the car and we'll do the update. We got the SD card here again. Uh, we're gonna pop that into the side of the dash. Once that's in there, uh, we're gonna key on and uh, we'll get this process going. All right, so keys on. It should automatically detect. Uh, you can see right here it's checking. Uh, it's saying it's doing a flash update. Uh, on the bottom you can see currently it's uh, 1.8.20 is the version. Right now it's doing its update on the screen itself. So now we're saying we're good. Um, now you got to do a key cycle. So we're going to do that real quick here. Key off. They say to remove the card. We'll do that just for uh, to be safe. I've heard you don't need to do it, but. All right, so we're going to key back on. If you remember before on the bottom, uh, it said 1.8. Now it's going to be updated to the newer version. Uh, so now it's asking about the screen. Do we want to calibrate uh, to V2? So we're going to hit yes or okay. So this is uh, telling us, you know, make sure that you got good power. Don't turn things off. Don't remove the um, SD card. So my car's on a charger right now, uh, our trickle charger, just to make sure that uh, the battery voltage doesn't get too low. So we're going to click update firmware. So it's uh, going to run through here now. We're just going to fast forward through here. Obviously, it's going to just run through all the menus and installing the files that it needs and uh, take whatever time it takes. All right, so you can see that it was complete. Um, we're going to have to obviously do a key cycle and then do a TPS auto set. Um, we'll walk through so we're that. Hit OK on the screen here. So obviously both have been good. It's going to say crates complete and we're going to cycle ignition. So key is off. We're waiting a few seconds, make sure those relays shut off. All right, we're going to key back on. You can see on the bottom now, uh, real quickly, it's it paused that we're now at firmware 2.0. Right, so we're going to so do the TPS auto set. So we're going to hit OK. We're going to go to wizards. TPS auto set, click that. Make sure ignition's on, I started, yep, hit start. So now we're just gonna press the gas pedal all the way down to the floor. That's once. Twice. Hit next. Successful, hit done. We should be good there, um, just to make sure. So if you go to file, um, then you're gonna go to hardware, and you're gonna see now it's at 2.0.80. Uh, if you remember before, it was at one point something something. Uh, so that's how you can confirm that we're good to go. Uh, one other way that you'll know that everything's uh, good is when you're actually going through the screen, you'd get a message on the bottom saying it needs to be updated. Um, I have to update my seven inch dash, so I'm gonna make another quick video on that. Um, this is all in order to use a CAN expansion module. Um, on my particular Holly, I have uh, used all four input outputs uh, and I'd like to try to get a little bit more out of this Terminator kit before uh, dropping the money on a Dominator. Um, so that's uh, kind of what stemmed this uh, this firmware update. So I got a video on that uh, Swap Smart um, module and process. So I will uh, have a couple videos coming out soon. If you got any questions, make sure to ask. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Thanks.